Hey folks, welcome back. This is Andy with the Poor Pearls Almanac. Today, we're gonna to be making a water-soluble calcium out of shells. So traditionally, people think of using eggshells because they are most accessible for most folks. However, here on our farm, we try to utilize what's available nearby. And while we do have eggshells available, as you can probably hear the ducks in the background, we also go to the ocean for quite a bit of things. So recently, we had some uh, quahogs, some mussels, some razorback clams. So what we're gonna do is use those because that's not something that's very often covered online as how to do that other than yes, it's possible. So one of the things that we have to do is break down the shells so we can break the chemical bonds and make that calcium water soluble. So to do that, we first have to actually physically break the shells, then cook them, and then we have a chemical reaction with vinegar. This is some old beer that has turned to vinegar, it's some homebrew, and that's what I use it for. So let's break up these shells. The easiest way to do that is to take a hammer, or if you're using, if you're doing a lot of shells, you can use like a tamp. So the key thing is to cover the shells while you're hammering so they're not throwing pieces all over the place. So let's get to work. For now, we'll call that good enough. Could break it down a bit more, but now we're gonna start trying to cook it down and breaking those bonds in the, the shells themselves. So you definitely wanna use a cast iron pan that you don't care about too much take some of these bigger ones and break them up a little bit more while this starts cooking down. This will take like 15 to 20 minutes. So let me uh, get these broken up and then we're gonna come back in like 15, 20 minutes when it's ready to go. All right, so this has been cooking for about 20 to 25 minutes. And you can tell it's starting to get done because when you push down on the shells, they break fairly easily. And that usually means that the bonds are starting to break down. So what we're gonna do now, turn off the heat. And I did a little test run to make sure that I did fully break it down. So there is a reaction. And what we're gonna do is fill this up one part volume of shells to 10 parts volume of vinegar. So what that means is we're gonna put in a little bit of shells and we're gonna put in a whole lot of vinegar. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that some of the bigger shells probably won't have as much of a reaction. So you might wanna put in a little bit um, more shells to vinegar ratio to keep the, the liquid stronger in terms of how much calcium it's able to uh, break down. So we're just gonna throw all of this in there and then we're gonna make it get bubbly. So unlike eggshells, you're not gonna see as much of the browning that you typically see that suggests that it's, um, it's been fully cooked. So, let's see. Do a little bit more. Hopefully you guys can hear my Icelandic rooster being loud and annoying the neighbors. And yeah, we'll call, we'll call that a full bottle. So what we'll do is watch the explosion. So let's take a look at this. Look at all that bubbly action. So you'll do this and let it sit for seven to 10 days and the bubbles will continue rising this whole time. And if it starts to slow down, give it a quick stir. I'm just like this. Even there, 
You can see the liquid penetrating in a little bit deeper and there's even more bubbles coming up now. So that's how you make water soluble calcium out of oyster shells and other various seashells. Traditionally people use eggshells, but if you live near the beach it makes sense to use what's near you. So this is how you do it. We'll check on it in seven to 10 days. Generally, you will use about a teaspoon per gallon as a spray when your fruits are starting to come out. And I uh, will cover that a little bit further in the future. Thank you guys.